day class, so I have uh, not fallen off the face of the planet. I'm not dead. Uh, I have not decided that, to kill the channel. What I have experienced is the spring musical. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory began and it is almost over. I am standing in, the, uh, in my classroom moments before students start to arrive for the final show and it's been a wonderful run. I'll show you uh, just briefly what things look like here. We have, this is, these are the mics, first half of the show, second half of the show. We've got uh, our, these microphones that they have to put on and trade with each other. This is our prop table that has not been organized yet. And then right next door is the boys' locker room, which has been converted into a uh, dressing room for both boys and girls, I think I'll show you. So, you see, uh, this is sets from prior shows that have been, uh, allowed us the ability to, to make a ladies' dressing room in here. So there's their, their clothing and their mirror. It's been lived in hard for the last several days. So that's the girls' uh, locker room, or the girls' dressing room. We only have seven boys. So these boys, these seven boys, share this one small little changing nook. It's not going to have enough light to show you very well, but it's just a little, a little place for privacy there. And I had to make our bathroom in here. Uh, more one, uh, one that could be locked so a lockable door was added and so that gives the, the girls the ability to go into the restroom lock the door and not, not be disturbed not be concerned and then make up row here not a big facility um, our food we keep here out of the way oh. And you can see a, a, a mural from our Christmas show a couple of years ago. My wife painted that wonderful mural from our Grinch show. Isn't that great? All right, now I suppose I'll take you backstage. We, we, uh, this is the prop room green room. We walked through the video control room, there, well, everything's so filthy, into the backstage area. Very little space for props and stuff. There are the beds that the Bucket, the bucket family are on. They're actually independent. You've seen those before, so they can roll. I guess you've seen them before, perhaps not. I've filmed so much, I can't remember what I've published. This is the Everlasting Gobstopper machine from the back. Those cranks down there, the, student, the students can crank that and it will make this go up and down and it'll turn the conveyor belts. Let's go on to the stage. All right, behind the curtain still, but on stage. Right now, it's, we, it's set for the final scene, which is the scene when Mike TV disappears and becomes a little bitty Mike TV, although we have the TV, the television's been moved. But he, he slips in behind the screen onto the nut scale, which is being hidden, but that, he slips back there. And now this is from a prior scene where the squirrels determine if these great big nuts are good or bad, and then if they're bad, they fall down in the chute. And this chute is where uh, Veruca Salt falls. Veruca, Veruca wreaks havoc with the shopping cart and all of that. We have the uh, pink candy boat where they have their terrifying boat ride. You're looking at it from the back, let's see. That's the boat from the front. So, 
Of course, I can't publish the, the show due to copyright, but I can show some clips, and I will. I'll show some clips of all this stuff in action. There's more, but uh, we have to, because our stage is so small, we have to move things at intermission completely off of the stage into the weight room, which is over here, or uh, into the trap door. You can't see it because it's flat black. But right here is a trap door in the floor. And that's where Augustus, you see that? Yeah. Right now it's got a bunch of uh, things that we've hidden after the uh, chocolate river scene. We throw everything down in there. But that's where Augustus falls into the chocolate river. It's been a fun show. I guess I should take you out into the main auditorium. We are a gym, a gymatorium. But for the show, we do extend our stage out 12 feet from the curtain line. So normally our stage will end, can you see where my feet are maybe? Yeah, at this wood, this black wood right there. And then these portable stages, we take it out further. And there, way up there in the booth is my perch where I get on the headset and call cues. So it's gonna, it's gonna be a great final show. We're gonna have a cast party afterwards. Uh, Edward Jones Investments, my brother-in-law, Chris Hughes at Edward Jones Investments is throwing a little shindig for all of the students afterwards. It should be a great time. So anyway, sorry for the poor quality, the short video, but I just wanted to do you to know why I haven't published any videos lately. Um, it's been a lot of work, so, but I've got lots of stuff in the can, and we'll have some great videos from Mr. Jamie on campus shortly. All right, so until later, I'm still Mr. Jamie, still alive, and I'm still on campus. Have a good one.